Hi everyone! Welcome back to the channel. Starting to draw art can be quite terrifying and it can be quite frustrating for beginner artists. So hopefully in this video, you are able to take what resonates with you and approach digital art with more confidence and conviction. To start off, I want to say that I am not a professional artist. I am still rather a beginner. These tips that I'll be discussing are things that help me to get started with digital art and may or may not work for you. Please just take what you will out of this. Okay, so now that it's out of the way, I want to break this video into several sections. The format for the video will be as the following. I am using this MacBook Air as my main screen, which is then plugged into an HDMI cable to my larger monitor. I find that having two screens is helpful especially when I need to look at references or want a different perspective on my painting. You don't have to do this, but if it helps, then I recommend setting your workspace up like this. Also, you will need some kind of drawing tablet. I am using a Wacom Intuos Pro. This is roughly 6 by 7.5 inches and connects to your laptop with a USB cable. It doesn't come with a screen, only the drawing pad, so when I am painting, I would have to look at my computer screen. I have been using this tablet for roughly two years now, and I still love it. The only downside to this is that since it doesn't come with a screen, it is a bit of a learning curve, but once you get the hang of it, I find using this tablet is second nature. Now as a beginner, I suggest starting off with a basic tablet similar to mine's, and once you are more advanced, you can switch to a higher grade tablet like the Cintiq. Alright, now that you have a perfect work environment and everything is all set up, let's now take a look at the different drawing programs. I am using Photoshop, which is not free, but there are many free programs available like these. I have not personally used the following, so I suggest you do your own research on these. Now for the exercises. Before you start directly drawing on your program of choice, it is wise to first get familiar with A. Drawing with your tablet and B. Knowing your program. So each drawing program will have several overlapping features, but they may differ in layout and usability. So as an exercise in your program of choice, just start scribbling. This is a fun workout for your drawing muscles. You can draw different shapes like circles, squares, triangles, curvy lines, zigzag lines or spirals, and hearts and stars. Just play around with the different settings in your program. Pay special attention to locating your layers panel, colors panel, and brushes panel. Play around with their brush size and opacity, doing this exercise at least 100 times before you begin drawing will help warm you up and become better at drawing. Yes, it is tedious, I've been there, but it is also worthwhile. Okay, now I'm going to talk about some general tips that helped me. The first tip is that if you are not yet confident in sketching, using your tablet, then I recommend sketching your drawing out onto paper first, then uploading a scanned file to your computer. This way, you don't have to start your drawing over constantly.
Another tip is to please, please use layers. By drawing on layers, you can save your drawing when you mess up. If you come from a traditional background like me, using layers may be a bit of a nuisance, but trust me, layers will save you. My last tip is if you are not very confident in using colors, then you can just color pick the colors from your reference using the eyedropper tool. This way you know you are using the right colors. Alright guys, you reached the end of the video. Thank you so much for making it this far. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And remember to have patience with yourself. Digital art is hard and you will not be able to master it in one day. Alright guys, once again, thanks so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye!